Hello everyone and welcome to this series of videos on the uh, Kiskit 2020 Advocate Exam. My name is Diego Serrano and what I want to do in this uh, series is to go over the questions of the exam I took when I became an advocate. Now to be clear, this is not the same as the Kiskit developer certificate exam, which is the one you have to take now to become an advocate. Uh, this is a completely different exam, but the reason I wanted to cover it is because I think some of the questions in here are extremely interesting and some of them are even more challenging than what I've seen for the developer exam. Also, it's a great way for you to learn about Kiskit and the different uh, functionalities it has. Um, also, uh, I haven't used Kiskit in quite some time, so, so I want to use this as an opportunity to refresh my memory and, and also see if this exam can still be solved using a newer version of Kiskit. So I'll post links on the description below, but um, you can find the original exam uh, on uh, under this GitHub uh, repository uh, under Kiskit Advocate Kiskit Advocate Test, and I um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend looking at the exam uh, from here because it's actually quite outdated. So if you read the the description, uh, what they they ask you to do is to run this Jupyter notebook, and this has uh, some code in there that that will prompt the questions for you just on, on this one notebook. But, but as you can see, um, for the exam to work correctly, you need to use an older version of Kiskit, so 0.19, uh, which, uh, you know, today in, uh, in 2022, uh, 2022 we, we are on version 0.36. So um, what I've done is I, I created my own repository where you can find the same questions. So uh, if you go here, uh, again, I'll, I'll share the link, but if you go here under Advocate Exam 2020, I have a question, uh, a folder for questions where what you'll find is um, basically just each of the questions from the other exam. So, so here's question one and then straight to question two, but you can use this as a template to work on, you, on your own answers. I also have a, a folder with all the different solutions, uh, which are the ones that I'll be covering in the videos. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, series of videos. And if you have any feedback, please let me know and I hope to see you in the next one.